This is Euclid Book 9, Proposition Number 1, but we're going to go back for a second to Euclid Book 7, Definition Number 21. Why? Because we need to explain plain numbers. Apparently you guys didn't get this right off the bat, so I'm going to go ahead and explain this to you. Alright, so what is a plain number? Well, 12 is a plain number. Why is 12 a plain number? Because it's in a ratio of 2 to 6. You can actually draw a rectangle that is 2 inches wide by 6 inches long. That is a plain number. Okay. What about 27 here? Well, you can draw a rectangle that's 3 inches wide by 9 inches long. Well, 3 times 9 is 27. Now what makes 12 and 27 similar plain numbers? Because as 2 is to 6, so as 3 is to 9. That's why. Well, 2 6 is 1 3rd, 3 9 is 1 3rd, so those are similar plain numbers. Do you understand where I'm going with this? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Alright, now let's get into Euclid Book 9, Proposition Number 1. It says, if two similar plain numbers, now we know what they are, we can go on with this. By multiplying one another make some number, the product will be square. Now that you know how to form similar plain numbers, you can always find a square on this. Okay, let A and B be two similar plain numbers. We've already illustrated this. 12 and 27 are similar plain numbers, and now you know why. And let A, by multiplying B, make C. Well... 12 times 27 just happens to be 324. Big number. Okay. I say that C is a square. For let A, by multiplying itself, make um, D. Well, 12 times, 12 times 12 makes 144. Therefore, D is a square. Well, D is definitely a square because 12 times 12 is 144. Since then, A, by multiplying itself, has made D. And by multiplying B, has made C. Okay, so 12 times 12 is 144, and 12 times 27 is 324. Therefore, as A is to B, so as D is to C. And this is by Euclid Book 7, Proposition Number 17. Well, as 12 is to 27, so as 144 is to 324. You can do the math all by yourself. And since A and B are similar plain numbers, therefore one mean proportional number falls between A and B, which is by Euclid Book 8, Proposition Number 18. But if numbers fall between two numbers that continue proportion, as many as fall between them, so many also fall between those which have the same ratio. This is by Euclid Book 8, Proposition Number 8. So that one mean proportional number falls between D and C also. And D is a square. Therefore, C is also a square. And this is by Euclid Book 8, Proposition Number 22. Okay. So to basically illustrate this, We're saying as 12 is to 27, so as 144 is to 324, and we were talking about mean proportional, which is this number that falls between all of these. Okay, there's a mean proportional here. And the way this is going to work is that because this is a square, then this also must also be a square. Okay? And that's how that whole proof works. If you have any questions, just leave them down here in the comments below. I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.